My name is Mary O'Connor. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and chair of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, we're going to talk today about knee replacement surgery, and it's a really great operation for the right patient. It's very important that patients be educated about what the knee surgery in, is, um, what kind of uh, rehabs involved, risks and benefits, and I hope that I can share some information with you that will help you in making your decision about whether you feel this is a good operation for you. The decision about whether knee replacement surgery is the right choice for a given patient depends on really several factors. Obviously, the patient should have enough arthritis that the surgery is the right treatment. And they have to have enough symptoms so that they're having pain and functional compromise so that that's the next right treatment. And of course, if, they're, if the arthritis medicine that they tried before isn't helping anymore, that would be a plus in favor of surgery. So it's really a decision that I think should be, is best made jointly with this surgeon, the orthopedic surgeon and the patient, saying when is it the right time for me, the patient, to go ahead with the surgery. And there, there's benefit and risk, and that's why it's important for patients to be educated and their families about the risk as well as the benefit. And with knee replacement surgery, one of the most um, important things to understand is the very small risk of infection. And it happens around 1% of the time. So it's very uncommon, but it can be a devastating problem, which is why I actually list it as the very first complication I talk about with patients. If patients get an infection in the knee replacement, then sometimes we have to take out all the parts, put in a spacer, put the patient on IV antibiotics for six weeks, and then redo the knee. So it is a really big deal if you get an infection. And we are extremely careful. We make sure that people don't have a, an infection in their bladder, especially older women can have it and not be aware. We give the patients antibiotics before the surgery and afterwards. We're very particular about how we clean the skin before surgery and we instruct patients to do their own skin cleansing before the surgery to try and decrease the harmful bacteria that could be on their skin. And then, of course, we're very careful after the surgery in the hospital as well. Finally, after patients have had knee replacement surgery, when they see the dentist, they need to have antibiotics. It's a very simple regimen, but it's very important. They take some antibiotic pills an hour before their dental procedure, and the dentist supplies the patient with the antibiotics. But that's another important way of minimizing the risk of infection. After infection, we worry about blood clots. Now, that's a little more common, uh, but usually doesn't cause any serious problem. We put patients on a blood thinner afterwards to decrease the risk of a blood clot. There's a very small risk of nerve injury or blood vessel injury. And then depending on the age of the patient, um, they may be at some risk of wearing the knee replacement out and needing a revision surgery down the road. So most knee replacements are lasting for 15 and 20 years, but if you're in your early 50s and you've, you've worn your knee out and we do the surgery, lasts for 20 years, which would be a good result, then you're only in your early 70s, so it's possible that you could need a revision. So those are the main risks that I talk to patients about. 